Yo, what up, angels? Y'all already you know who it is, your host, Angel. Who can you wait? Sorry, sorry about the past or future. It all depends. It all depends. This sort of time is about time when this kid around knocks to school and threatened another student. All right. Yes, you heard that right. All right. So let's get started. This story took place way back in 2012. All right. In 2012, um, I was a great. I was a sixth grader. Going to this one school, right? Let's just say the name of it. I'm going to put the articles, all right? Mission, Be Mission Bell Elementary School, all right? So let's get started. So one day, right, my mom told me, hey, your school's on the news. And I'm like, how you know? Because my mom used to, like, talk to her, like, Can't, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. That part of Riverside, that elementary school, there were some Mexican ass moms, bro. That were straight up Karens, bro. They acted like, like, it was like a sober, like, like they were wh like white people. No offense. Like, which was so cringe, right? So apparently she heard from our moms that that some kid brought a knife to school and threatened someone, like like said, like told the student, I'm gonna get you after school, right? So mom told me, go watch the news. So, so yeah, I was watching the news and stuff like that. It was KTLA, all right, the Channel 5 News, all right, for um, California, all right? And I saw the news, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you. I tried to look for this clip, this, this video footage, and I wasn't able to find it at all, right? I was only able to find this one footage, which I'm gonna link in the description, all right? So it was this Channel 5 News, right? And and that was the only time I saw it. I couldn't find it again after that, all right? So I really like the news come out and say, oh, oh, a, a knife incident happened at this water elementary school, Mission Bell Elementary School. So I'm gonna tell you what happened, right? So I'm really with the footage, right? And I remember I saw the kid, right? Let's just say his name, Chris. Let's just... That's his name, bro. His name is on the news, so... Uh, I think he wouldn't get mad. So Chris shows up on the news, right? At the time, like, he had, like, a, like hair that was, like, down, kind of bokeh. cut. Well, not really. And this guy was, like, um... Like, like, talking... Like, he was outside the gate, right? Like, at the back, like, side where, like, you get out, like, of school, right? So this is, like... Like, he was, like, somewhere at the gate, right, where you get, get out, this and that. And Chris was like, like talking to the camera guy, saying like, "Oh yeah, I felt I was scared." Like yes, like the cameraman asked him, like, "Hey Chris, do you feel scared or like intimidated? Intimidated? I don't know. I can't say that shit right. Like scared, like threatened." And like yeah, he, like Chris was like, "Yeah, I feel scared." Um, yeah, I told my dad like like the same usual stuff. Like all right, he said something like that. And it just cuts off. Literally the the whole clip, the whole news report was like about. Like, Two minutes long. And that was it, bro. <laughs> Straight up. Like I said, this school was kind of ghetto, right? It was kind of ghetto, right? Because my old friend, right? Oh, he told me that at his school, he was very ghetto. But even though it was that ghetto, he still had, like, like, like you know those yearbooks books? Where, like, I don't know. Was, but literally, like, all those books, like, I know it's off topic, but, like, like black and white, like, some pages, which was so freaking ghetto, right? So this school was kind of ghetto, right? It wasn't the most ghetto, ghetto is. It was ghetto, right? I remember like, when I first got into that school, like, four of game bangers, cholos, like, little kids that were, like, game bangers. And one time, like, these two students, that right, they went inside the restroom, right? And the guy, like, had his backpack, like, his backpack open, like, ready to open it. And when they saw me, I was in there, like, staring at them. He said, oh, hey, bro, you can think you can get out? I'm like, why? And the guy was like, just, just get out, please. Just get out. So I left, and apparently he gave him something, like, some drugs. Or something he stole, all right? And they were smart enough not to. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this those people knew that I was a snitch. So, yeah, I did a snitch on them and stuff like that. And this is what happened, all right? We ended up getting this one principal. I know it's off topic, but let me tell you. This, like, so you get an idea of how the school is. So, apparently, we had this one, teacher, one principal, right? We called him at school. No, no one really liked her because she was kind of biatch. And freaking, um, like, one day that this kid's got caught smoking weed in the restaurant, right? <laughs> and all the parents got mad at her, saying, you're not, like, told me school, you're not doing your job. Yeah, and they told her that she was going to get fired. Like, she, like, she, like, she was going to teach her at school for way too long, all right? So if you were bad for her later, bro, like, you got to realize, bro, people are going to do drugs no matter what, all right? You're not blaming on the school. Like, blame on yourself. Blame it on yourself, straight up. So, so I remember, like, um, so, so I remember, like, I saw Chris, right, at school, and it was, like, like, I remember the news report come when he came back to school, right, so I saw Chris, right, like, hey, what's up, Chris, 
You're like, what's up? And I told him, hey, bro, weren't you the kid? Weren't you the kid that came out of the news? Like, showed up on the news? Like, oh, you saw it? I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, what happened? And he told me that. Okay. So this is what Chris told me, right? So apparently, this kid, Bobby, right? Um, apparently, like Chris and Bobby were like, were kind of like, 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 not friends, right? They're kind of beefing it like a little, all right? Cause like, cause like, okay, let me tell you something. When I met, when I met Chris, like he was kind of like, like, like I really like, I played with him. Yeah, I was like seven, sixth grade playing with the little kids, like like fourth graders. And thing is with Chris is that like he like he's kind of like, like for for normal like for like for like people like Bobby like they'll find them annoying, bro. But I never found him annoying. I thought he was like funny and cool. Like he was like like very like like optimistic. Like he was like very like 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 funny. Like very funny. Like. Now, I don't want to say childish, but, like, he was, like, like kid-like, all right? And to an old person that, like, negative or, like, like doesn't think like him, they find them annoying, all right? So, that's, I think that's what happened, all right? So, this is what I, so, this is what Chris told me, all right, about what happened. So, apparently, he said that, 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 that this kid was, like, bullying him, Loki, like, he was, like, bullying him, and then people were, like, telling him, telling on teachers, and people weren't doing shit. So, apparently, when he calls bully... Bobby, all right. So apparently, Bobby and Chris were going at it, all right, like, 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 like beefing it, all right. Went to the point where one day they were like playing basketball, all right, and <laughs> and so Chris and Bobby were playing basketball, right. Until so one day, right, he said, like, Chris, this is what Chris told me. He said that that he elbowed like Bobby in the throat by accident, like in the throat, and Bobby got like pissed off, like he got like mad, like like, like he got mad. He's like, I'm a f you up and stuff like that. And Chris told me that he apologized many times. Like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. It was an accident. I'm sorry. It was an accident. It was, it was an accident. So, yeah. So, he was like, a, he was saying, he told him an accident. It was an accident over, like, many times, right? And so, later on that day, right? So, for some reason, what we had this two inch and, and two and a half, like, blade, right? Two and a half blade. Like, two inches and a half blade, all right? And I remember when he told me, he said, like, oh, yeah, he, like, he brought, like, a little knife. And like he said, like he thought he was gonna kill me. So this is what he said. So apparently later on that day, right, like they went back back to class, and Bobby like was sitting like like kind of like across of him, right. So apparently, Bobby, okay, like that, like only those ministry school deaths, right. And apparently, like he was like ever see like 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 Chris was like like Bobby like 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 whispered like like hey Chris. And Chris like look over there, right? And and this is Chris's where he said that Bobby like pulls out a knife, right? Like for like, but you like he showed like under the desk, right? Like like on like like he like he flashed the like knife, right? And told like Chris, all right? He whispered, "I'm going to get you after class." No, this is what this is what he said. I'm going to get you after school, right? So apparently Chris got scared, right? And he told the teachers that what happened and stuff like that. Like he told the teacher that that he brought a knife, and apparently Bobby only got suspended from school. Like like he never got in trouble that bad. Like like Bobby got like, suspended from school, right? So apparently like Bobby got suspended from school, right? And and they never did anything too crazy, right? So this is what I saw from the news, right? So apparently when within those five days, right? That's why Chris didn't came back in five days, right? So apparently this all happened, right? And apparently, like, like a whole bunch of kids, like, told, like, their side of the story of what happened, uh, on what happened with Chris and Bobby, right? So, apparently, like, like Chris told his dad that, that what happened, and dad got mad and, and feared for his son's life, right? And he got mad that the, that the school didn't didn't really do anything, like, like they just gave him a slap, a slap on the wrist, like, five days, like, sus- suspension isn't that bad if you think about it. So apparently his dad, right, got mad, right, at the school system, right? So they took Bobby and his family to court, right? And they were they were able to get a restraining order on Bobby, right? I mean on Bobby and Chris, right? So Bobby cannot get close to Chris, alright? So apparently like Chris got a restraining I mean Bobby got a restraining order against Chris, right? And that happened, right? So it went like that for like 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 months, right? And they even tried like like extend it, but I'm telling you what happened, right? So so I'm just telling you what happened in the news, right? Apparently what happened in the news, right? So this is what Chris said, right? 
Like, yeah, bro. Like, like I got restrained against Bobby. Like, like he not allowed to come close to me and stuff like that. Like, I even asked what was it. He told me what it meant. So apparently, like, this is what he said, right? This was his words, right? I don't know if it's true, right? So he said that when when they like 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 ask him the questions they did the interview, like he said that like Chris like grabbed the camera of the cameraman, threw it to the floor, and started stomping on it. And he tried to dip out, like try to like run. And the and the people who interviewed him were like, like, hey, come back here, come back here. And I don't know, bro, if that was true, right? So apparently, like, that was true. Like he did that, but I don't know if that's true, right? So yeah, so so apparently he didn't want really did, didn't want really to do the interview and stuff like that. So so yeah, after that I met Chris. He became my friend. Not a lie, all right. So yeah, and I remember like I played with Chris, right? Like I said though, like like I remember like I was like playing with his friend, right? She was, like a girl, and, like they call her Suns. Sunshine, and they were like playing like role role playing game, like I don't know which was weird, and so she like hit me and fucking hurt, like it freaking hurt and stuff like that. So yeah, after that, like I saw him around, I talked to him here and there. He even said this one thing, say that like that 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 Bobby is a wannabe ga- gangster, like he wants to like like he thinks he's a gangster and stuff like that. So yeah. So after that, like, like I was like a sixth grader, right? So I ended up graduating from that one school, ele- elementary school, Mission Bell, and I left that school, all right. And 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 I remember, like, I, like I said, like the last thing I said to Chris is like, "Hey, bro, you have a good one. I hope you stay safe. Like you too, bro. Thank you." So yeah, diving up, stuff like that. Like Chris was a, like a nice guy, bro. He was like a cool guy, all right. And I could understand that 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 he looked annoyed. Um, the bully, right? And the bully just didn't like him because of that. Like, because Chris was him, you know? Nothing could change that, all right? So, yeah, I just found that crazy how this kid, right? Bobby brought a knife to school and threatened um Bobby, right? And said that I'm going to get you after school, right? So, yeah. So, pretty much, um, I never saw him again after that. I ended up graduating from elementary school and stuff like that. And never saw Chris or Bobby again, right? Um, yeah. I know it's kind of late to say it, but I remember like, the news report was like it showed like Bobby like in his family, right, saying that he got suspended, like and stuff like that. And I just find that crazy, all right? How you know? So like I said, right? I know y'all are not gonna believe this story, all right? I did my research, all right? I ended up looking up the articles and stuff like that, and it was never in the. I was never able to find that news report that I saw when I was little, all right? For for some reason, they cut off or something like that, but. But I was able to find this news report, this interview, all right? This video interview, all right? Which I'm going to leave a link in the description, all right? Description, all right? So I saw I saw this video, right? This this interview, right? And it was like Chris with the Mohawk, right? And telling the like, like camera guy what's going on. They asked him, like, the usual, like, how you felt and stuff like that. So I forgot to mention that apparently after that, or after they got restraining order, they wasn't able to get like a like a like a restraining order like like a, no like a, no like 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 get more time for it. So they, for some reason the judge found that ridiculous, all right. But it came to the conclusion that the both of the kids, Bobby and Chris, were going to go to different schools. Apparently, like for three years they cannot go to the same school, right? So pretty much that was like the verdict of the sentence, right? Where Chris and Bobby cannot be in the same school for three years, all right. So yeah, just get that out of the way, all right? Try, try to get that out of the way, all right? So in the interview, right? So he's, they asked him the usual how he felt and stuff like that. And he said this in the interview. Like, he said that, see this, he said this. That him and Bobby, like, talk, like, during the, like, in the court and stuff like that. And apparently Bobby told Chris, like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, like may, may God bless you. And Chris told him back, like, like very mature Chris, not a liar, right? Saying that, oh, oh, it's okay, bro. May God bless him. God bless you too. And I forgive you. So apparently, Chris forgave Bobby, all right? And it comes to his dad, right? Saying that, oh, yeah, I'm trying to get, like, 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 a, like, a, like a restraining order, like, more time, but they didn't want to. So they were, they were going to give, like, only two years where the students cannot be in the same school. But I told him to give me, like, a third year. And stuff like that. And he said that that what I learned from my son today is that that I should forgive people and stuff like that. Like some stuff like that, right? I just find that shit crazy, right? So yeah, I know this video is getting too long, right? So yeah, so if I was Chris, I'll I'll most likely have forgiven, alright? Alright. 
since since the since Bobby never stabbed him and just made it made made you feel like shit with his words and I'll probably most I'll, I'll almost likely forgive that right but if he stabbed me or beam or some shit like that I will never forgive him. You know what Matt their worst fate all right so yeah so that's pretty much it so if I, I look I'll be honest with you if someone started this with my kid that we're gonna do some harm or my or my girlfriend um my loved one I, I want them my power to turn my demons and my in me put a curse on that person because trust me when you put a curse on someone like, it gets them away from you all right like, literally f <laughs> you know what no fucked up shit happens to them all right so yeah so that story is um um do not threaten people with a knife um do not be the jerk that ruins it that ruins your future and for others um and we can learn a lesson from Chris all right is that maybe you should forgive your enemies all right all right only if they hurt you with words or I don't know I just I just find that very mature Chris all right how you leave a freaking but. But I'll be honest with you, if I was crazy, if that kid is time or be me, it's over. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta say. Y'all and just stay safe. And crazy, if you're watching this video, I hope you're doing fine, alright? I hope you're living a better life, alright? 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 You're awesome, bro. Peace.